Hey y'all, thank you so much for stopping in today. My name is Julie. This is the Retro Apron Cooking Channel. And if you're interested in easy, delicious recipes on a weekly basis, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also give this video a thumbs up. Today we're fixing cheesy spinach and artichoke pinwheels. These are gonna be the perfect appetizer for pretty much any occasion. I mean, who doesn't love cheesy crescent rolls? We're gonna preheat our oven to 375. In my bowl, I have about 14 ounces of diced artichoke heart. All you have to do is grab a can at the grocery store and drain them thoroughly, chop them up. That's all you have to do. Super easy. To our artichokes, we're gonna add two cups of fresh spinach, diced, one cup of sour cream, one third cup of mayo, and in this little guy, we have salt, pepper, onion powder, and garlic powder. I probably should have gotten a bigger bowl to use, but we're gonna make this work. And now we're gonna stir in one cup of shredded mozzarella cheese and a half a cup of shredded Parmesan. That's everything that goes in our mixture. Now we're gonna set this aside and grab two tubes of crescent rolls. And then we're gonna just make this all one big sheet here. Make sure we seal all these little perforations. Now that we have all of that sealed together, we are going to spread our artichoke mixture on top. Perfect. Now we're gonna roll it up and then seal this over here. Now we're gonna spray our pan and we're gonna cut this into eight. Or if you want them smaller, you can cut them smaller. That is perfectly fine. All right, this is what they look like once they're sliced and put in the pan. Now we're gonna take one egg, whisk it, and take a little brush and brush this egg wash on top. Now we're gonna pop these in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes and make sure you keep a quick close eye on them because crescent rolls can burn really quickly. So you wanna make sure that they don't burn. check and see how these are doing. Oh yeah. Yep. Perfection. Beautiful, beautiful. Now that we've removed this masterpiece from the oven, we are going to just drizzle about a quarter of a cup of melted butter over the top and sprinkle a little fresh parsley on top. Now let's try one of these. Here's the moment of truth. That's delicious. Absolutely incredible. You know it, you gotta try it. Drop down below for the exact measurement and ingredients or head on over to my Instagram page, The Retro Apron, to find the exact recipe. Thank you so much for stopping in today. As always, had a wonderful time and I can't wait to see you next week. Thank you, bye-bye.